Listen up, guys. Let's be winners out there today. Put all your effort and concentration into this game and play to your potential. Let's be the best we can be. It's Curling Hoops 2K7. The Marquette Golden Eagles take on the Wisconsin Badgers. We should have a great one in store for you today. Hello, basketball fans. We're here at the Kohl Center. This is Vern Lundgren, Bill Raftery, and Bonnie Bernstein. What's your take on this, Bill? The story here is a matchup at off guard. Number 23 is one of the premier shooting guards in the nation. He's a tremendous threat thanks to the depth shooting touch of his. Number 22 is also a top quality two guard. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. They're both ready to go. We'll see which of the two can lead their team to victory. The Golden Eagles get the tip and we're underway. Beats it to the top of the key. Number 23, poked loose, backs down. Dishes to the outside. Number 22 gets it outside. That last tray, no good. Oh, he was wide open, Vern. He has to knock that shot down. Number five hands it off. Bounce pass, left wing. Number 42 gets it on the perimeter, deflected, and it's controlled by Marquette. He was trying to thread the needle, Vern. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Number 23 swings it to the left wing. High post. Passes to the right. Number 32. Back right in. Now let's check in with the third member of our team, Bonnie Bernstein. Bonnie? Thanks, Vern. Before the game, it caught up with Coach Ryan of the Badgers, and he emphasized the importance of crashing the offensive boards and cashing in on those second-chance opportunities. With this team's ability to rebound, we should see that early and often. Thanks, Bonnie. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Beats it to the perimeter. Number five gets it outside. Number 22 connects from long range. Number five, look at them work the ball around. Great job to find the open man. Number 51 inbounds the ball. Pass outright. Number 22 tosses it up, nails it from the wing. Where's the energy from the defense? You can't give wide open looks like that. Number 22 dumps it off. Hopes free, but it's recovered by number 23. Catches it outside. Number 22 dishes it to the perimeter. Outright, the 15 footer. The basket was buried by number 42. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. Swings it to the left wing. Number one. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And he makes the first. He gets them both. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Just over 17 minutes left in the half. Lobs it to the high post. Number 22 has it right side. Drained that last basket. I used the whole shot clock when you only need a few seconds, right? And it's a three-point game. 
Here's the spin move. Number one, pulls the trigger right in the bottom of the bucket. A little medium range magic there. He doesn't need more than an inch. The steal by number 51. Number 51. Perimeter. Number five. Picked off. I'd love to see that. He was lurking around, then pounced. Such a number deep four. burn. That last shot, good, by number one. Number 42, inbounds the ball. Just over 16 minutes left in the half. Rejected. Got to stop there, thanks to the block by number 41. Has it on the perimeter. Not there on the three by number 22. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Number 22 dumps it to the middle. Got the whistle, and he'll shoot a pair of free throws. The shot was clearly affected by the contact there. Good call. Knocks down the first one. Splits the free throws. Outside. Passes to the wing. Number 41. Backs down. The fadeaway. Number 5. Reels it in. About 15 and a half minutes left in the half. Dishes to the outside. Number five has it outright. Swing pass, perimeter. Number 42. Yes, this guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up. Number 41, inbounds the ball, and it's a three-point game. Has it on the perimeter. Number one, feeds it to the perimeter. Perimeter, swings it to the outside. Number one. Passes it to the right wing. Number 23 has it right wing. His mid-range game is terrific. I really like his form, Vern. So smooth. Skip pass. High post. Number 23. Gets it. Baseline. Number 22. Dishes to the right. Top of the key. Feeds it to the right side. Number 32. Takes the shot. Nails it from the low block. Right around 14 minutes left in the half. Passes to the baseline. Nice speed by number one. Can you believe the start to this game? We've got a track meet on our hands. Just one point separating the teams. Number 42 gets it right wing. Pass outside. Nope. The D recognized the shot was coming and got out there on him. Nicely done. Laid in by number 23. He's a player, Bill, who can put the ball exactly where it needs to be. No doubt, Fern. He leads his man so well, he couldn't help but drop it in. Number 32 inbounds the ball. They're playing man-to-man -man here, Vern. Number 22, tosses it up, good from three-point range. That's not their favorite play to run, but they love it when it goes down. Gets it outside. Number 22, dishes to the baseline. The up and under, rebounded by number five. Number 42, to the bucket, it's in. That deserves a look on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. That 
something else. No wonder we're still talking about it. It's a four-point ball game. Swings it to the outside. I think he wanted to charge there, but he's got to work on his performance a little, Bill. Yeah, those feet were shuffling like they just waxed the floor. The blocking foul was the right call. Number 24 inbounds the ball. Number 32 gets the board inside. About 12 and a half minutes left in the half. Number 12 fires. Too strong. Number 24 grabbed that rebound with his elbows high using a little intimidation. Kicks it out to the perimeter. Number 22 catches it outside. Beyond the arc. It's good. He knows the court and he knows how to get by you. Just a superb all-round player. Physical talent and talent for the X's and O's. And it's a one-point game. Lead pass, top of the key. Number 42 gets the board inside. Number 40 with the denial, and it's still a one-point game. Number 23. Number 24 backs him down to give them the lead. Off-target shot by number 23. About 11 and a half minutes left in the half. Gets it outside. Number 42 beats it to the perimeter. Number one, snatches the rebound. Out left, bounces it to the left. Number 40, goes up, can't take the lead. Number 42, passes to the top of the key. Number 23, gets it, left wing. Number 32, dumps it off, back. Number 12. Number 40, hauls it down inside. And it's a one point game. Catches it outside. Number 22, dishes to the right side. Green, by number 23. Wisconsin will take its first timeout. That's a wise move. The guys he's going with really play well together. Just one point separating the teams. Outside. Swings it to the outside. Number 22. Beats it to the perimeter. Blocked. The Golden Eagles with the rejection, and it's still a one-point game. Right around 10 minutes left in the half. With the fadeaway, missed long by number 24. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. Number 42 has it outside. Perimeter. Number 22, unloads, takes the lead. If he keeps hitting those mid-range shots, he might seem to get a little more aggressive on this end of the floor. 
And it's a one-point game. Number one. Gets it on the inside. Number 40. Skips it to the outside. Baseline. Number 24. Hands it off. Number 51. Grabs the offensive rebound. Flip up and in on that last layup. Number 5. Inbounds the ball. Wisconsin has not been able to shut down the inside game at all. Bonnie is by their bench with a report. Coach Ryan just called out his players. What are you, a bunch of babies, he said? You afraid of a little contact? You have to be more physical, and I need you to keep them out of the paint. All right, Bonnie. He can't be happy with that miss. With all the room he had, he's got to make that shot. Passes it to the outside. Number 41, backs in, passes back to the left side, unloads. The shot from beyond the arc was no good by number one. Just one point separating the teams. Number 22, throws it out, drains it from the paint. The Golden Eagles take their first time out of the game. He'll make some substitutions. Number 41 inbounds the ball. Just over eight minutes left in the half. Number five catches it outside. Pass, high post. Number five catches it, baseline. Number 23 dishes it to the left. Last basket on the mark by number five. He has a great rhythm from there. It's kind of a lost start in this world of dunks and triples. And it's a one-point game. Outside. Passes it to the right from 17 feet out. Snatched inside by number 41. Wow, his mid-range game is generally solid. He can't believe it, and I can't believe it. Number 41, number five, puts it up. No good from downtown. Just over seven minutes left in the half. He was hacked and will go to the line for the couple. Easy call on that one. It was pretty obvious he got hit on the release. And he ties it up. He gives them the lead. They're playing a 2-3 zone, Vern. Trying to take away their low post and force some jump shots. Dumps it to the middle. Number 23 tosses it up. Misses the jumper. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. He completes the three-point play. Number 51 inbounds the ball. Under seven minutes left in the half. Number five has it on the inside. Bounce pass out left. Number 51, gets it, baseline. Number 41, backs down. His first shot attempt. Number five, hauls it in. That's his seventh rebound so far. Great rebound, he went after that one hard. Shoots from 13 feet. 
Rebounded by number 22. It's a four-point ball game. Baseline, number 23, raises up. Gets it to fall from 15 feet. Nice skip pass. That fella always finds the seam. Swings it to the outside. Number 45. Dishes it to the right. Backs down. Fires from the wing. Unnecessary fadeaway, Vern. There's no need to make things harder than they really are. Number five gets it right wing. Number 51 tosses it up. Can't tie it up. About five and a half minutes left in the half. Number 34 grabbed that rebound with his elbows high, using a little intimidation. Swing pass outside. Number 34 has it top of the key. Number 23 beats it to the baseline. Number 22 dumps it off. Right wing for three. Gets it to four. Nice range. If the D doesn't bring a little more pressure, he could heat up from out there. Passes to the outside. Number 41. Backs in. Dishes to the wing. Number 51 has it inside from 18 feet away. Perfect shot by number five. Too easy, Vern. Do you expect this guy to miss a wide open shot like that? I don't think so. Outside. Number 34. Number 45. Shoots. Hits the jumper. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. And it's a five-point game. Gets it on the perimeter. Number five swings it to the outside. Far side. Beats it to the outside. Fires. Misfire on the three by number 22. Under four minutes left in the half. Number 45. Passes to the outside. Number 23. Has it right wing. That last shot netted for three. That's too easy, Vern. If the defense expects to stop him, they got to get out there on him. Number 22 to the bucket. He gets hammered, and he'll head to the strike. He can't get the post. The Golden Eagles will make some substitutions. The second. Number one is back in the game after a short rest. Number 32 inbounds the ball. The Badgers with the ball. They're on a 13 to 5 run. Pass outside. Number two hands it off. Gets it outside. Number two passes back to the perimeter. Fires. Fouls he went up. And he'll go to the line for a couple. That's his first personal foul. Fourteen foul. And he makes the first. He gets them both. 2.53 left in the first half. Left wing, number 22, to the bucket. Number 44, yanks it down. Ooh, it looked like he was going to have an easy finish. Tough break there, Vern. Hit it, got fouled, and he'll have a shot at the three-point play.
number one will come out of the game because of foul trouble. No good. And they don't get the three-point goal. Ripped down inside by number 12, the Golden Eagles, and cut it to single digits. Inside, the number shot was 21. banked in by number 21. Number 42 inbounds the ball. It's a nine-point spread. Bounces it to the left side. Number 42. The bucket is good, and he'll have a chance for one more. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. 2.13 left in the first half. Dishes to the top of the key. Two minutes remaining. Number 10 gets it outside. Lead pass, left side. Number 12 gets it, baseline. Number 23 raises up. The Badgers bring it up the court. They're on a 14 to 5 run. Number 23, lead pass inside. Mike's booty and Tingle. Last shot by number 42. Outside. Swings it to the perimeter. Number 10, to the bucket. Number 12, grabs the rebound. The shot was clearly affected by the contact there. Good call. Fifth team foul. He can't get the first. Number three checks in for the first time. He sinks the second. 113 left in the first half. Number three hands it off. Picked off by number 22, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. Number 10 finishes the break. Oh, such a pretty fast break. These guys can get out and run and fill. Number 42 inbounds the ball, and it's a 10-point game. Goes up. You can't be happy with that, Bill. You don't want to be in foul trouble with so much time left on the board. You've got that right, Burn. Now they've really got to be careful when and how they use them on the court. He can't complete the three-point play. It's deflected, and it's gathered up by number 44. Feeds it to the left wing. That last three-pointer was missed by number 32. That's his first personal foul. Eighteen foul. And he makes the first. He gets them both. 46 seconds left in the first half. Number 10 gets it outside. Sizing up his man. Offline on that last shot. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. That's the main reason they're leading in this game. Swing pass, perimeter. They're going to have to hurry. Number 42. Can't get it to fall from downtown. And we're headed to halftime with the score 51 to 37. Now let's show you the power bar player of the half. Bill, number 22 has been almost automatic from beyond the arc. That's the way it's done, Vern. When you're feeling it, don't be afraid. Let it fly. He's been doing just that. And oh boy, is it paying dividends. Thanks a lot, Bill. And that's our Power Bar Player of the Half. We're ready to begin the second half.
Let's send it down to Bonnie Bernstein. Thanks, Vern. At the break, I talked with Coach Ryan of the Badgers. He didn't have much to complain about with the lead they had at the half. I asked him about the keys to success in the first half. He said, simply, it's been the way we've been passing the rock. We've done a great job dishing the ball around and setting each other up. You want to see more of that in the second half, Vern. Thanks, Bonnie. It's picked off by number 23. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. That last week corner was missed by number five. Sank the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. He can't complete the three-point play. Number 42 shoots. Misses from inside. The defense set the tone there. That's a really nice stop. Gets it outside. Number 22 lobs it to the baseline. With the shot! Went to the fadeaway, but it was missed by number 51. Well, you can't fault him for taking that shot. The defense shouldn't be giving him such an open look. Outside. Passes to the outside. Number 32 backs down. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. Dishes to the right way. Number 51 gets it right side. Rebounded by number 32. That's his seventh rebound so far. Ooh, tried to kiss. Outside. Tipped away. And it's gathered up by number 22. Again, he's making big plays on defense to help his ball club. What cagey instincts on the defensive end. And we'll go the other way. Nice block by number 32. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time, they tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Number 32. Number 42 from D. Number 5 pulls it down inside. The last shot laid gently in. That's a terrific move to the hoop. He took it in at just the right angle. Number 51 inbounds the ball. The Golden Eagles down big. Gets it left side. Number 22 passes it back to the outside. Outside. Launches one from beyond the arc. Rebounded by number 51 to end the drought. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. First team foul. The first, number 24, is back in the game after a short rest. He gets them both. About 17 and a half minutes left in the second half. Skips it to the outside. Number 32. Backs down. Feeds it to the top of the key. Number 42 gets it on the perimeter. Number 41 grabs the rebound. With nobody around, he still couldn't convert. Sometimes you can be too wide open. Foul as he went up, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Second team foul. He makes the first. He gets them both. Number 42 inbounds the ball. Right around 17 minutes left in the second half. Number 5 goes up. Gently drops it in. This guy is so good at finding the weakness in the defense and then exploiting it. These fans are getting excited, Fern. They're making some noise now. Pass outside. 
Number one. Shoots from the post. Count the basket. And the foul. Beautiful That's work to fight third. through that First foul and foul. get to the line for the three third. opportunity. Number 32 will sit down to avoid further foul trouble. On the court. Completes the three-point play. Gets it outside. Number 22 dumps it to the middle. Stolen away by Marquette. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. Just over 16 minutes left in the second half. Outside. Swings it to the right wing. The wing shot knocked down by number one. Number 24 inbounds the ball. Number 24. Lobs it to the middle. Stolen. Terrific job by the defense. He read the pass well and made the swipe. That last basket was nailed by number 22. Send it in. That's the way to finish the break. Marquette calls timeout. Quick breather, but they need him back on the floor. Number 23 inbounds the ball. The Golden Eagles need to find some answers here. Number 22 gets it outside. Law baseline. Number 51 backs down. Number 5 grabs the rebound inside. Just over 15 minutes left in the second half. Number one. Gets it. High post. Number 42. Bounces it to the left side. Stolen away by number 22. Not a good decision, Vern. You can't just go ahead and force it inside like that. Top of the key. Passes to the right side. Backs him down. One of the way. And a foul's call. That's his first personal foul. Fourth team foul. And he makes the first. He's off on the second. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. And that's the main reason they're leading in this game. Number 42. Dishes to the top of the key. Number 22. Gets it. Middle. Lead pass. Left wing. Number 42. Launches it. Number 1. Grabs the long rebound. He didn't have a lot of room out there and it kept him from getting comfortable on that shot. That last shot was drained by number 23. Number five, inbounds the ball. Just over 14 minutes left in the second half. Number 22. Catches it, right wing. Number 23, misses the tray. Credit the defense there. They got out on him and they forced him to rush it a little. Number one, passes to the top of the key. Right side, skips it to the top of the key. Number 
Number 23 lobs it cross court. Number 51 backs down. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the line. That's his first personal foul. Fifth team foul. He makes the first. Number 24 is back in the game after a short rest. He gets them both. Number one, inbounds the ball. About 13 and a half minutes left in the second half. Number 22 gets it outside. From 20 feet out, fired short by number 23. Swing pass, perimeter. The lead is still double digits after the miss by number 23. Number 23 gets it, top of the feet. Number one grabs the rebound inside. Got the last basket to fall. Fantastic play to get the second chance points. The Golden Eagles will take a timeout. Number 24 inbounds the ball. Under 13 minutes left in the second half. Number one bounces it to the right side. Outside. Beats it to the outside. Number 24 backs down. Number one raises up. Tip back up and in. He's a terror on the offensive glass. No question he has a big heart and skills to match. He's hard to block out. Swings it to the outside. Number one gets it baseline. Dumps it off. Skip pass. High post. Throws it up. Number 22 commits the loose ball foul. And that will be his second foul of the game. Sixth team foul. Number one. Has it baseline. Number 51 backs him down. That last shot offline. It's a 20. Foul as he went up. And he'll go to line for a couple. He'll take the foul. Seven, that defender two, clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got it. The Golden Eagles will make some substitutions. He gets them both. Ten points separating the team. Number five, to the bucket, hits it. And with the blocking foul, he'll have a chance for one more. Number one, he'll come out of the game because of foul trouble. He completes the three-point play. Number 41, inbounds the ball. About 11 and a half minutes left in the second half. Number 22, dishes it cross court, backs down. Outside, dumps it to the middle. 
Fades away on the inside. Jumper buried by number 41. They were on him tight there, but it still didn't do any good. Hard to defend inside. Number 23 passes to the outside. Number 42 gets it middle. That offensive rebound didn't come to him by accident. He knew right where to be. Left wing. Number five dumps it off. Tosses it up. He's off from three. Their rebounding has been terrific, Vernon. That's the main reason they're leading in this game. Number 22. Another steal. That wasn't much of a look. You could see that one coming before he released it. Nice lay-in off the glass by number 23. Tipped away. But it's retrieved by number 23. Stolen away by number 5. Number 5. Here's the State Farm drive of the game. The courage on this fella is something else. He's such a competitor. Wisconsin is having real turnover problems. Bonnie, you've got something for us on that? Coach Ryan stood in front of the bench and said, look, if we can't hold on to the ball, we have no shot to win this. You know how stingy their defense is. Stay alert. All right, Bonnie. It's a nine-point spread. Number five hands it off. Has it right wing. Number 22 feeds it to the perimeter. Number five backs down. Outside, dishes it to the left. Number 22, they need to get a shot off. Swings it to the right wing. Number 23, not going down. Number 42, gets it outside. Pass outside. Number 23, gets it high post. Backs down. Number five, passes to the outside. Outside, passes back to the outside. Number 23, tosses it up. Number five, rips it down. Last shot off the mark, and it's a nine-point game. Number five, bounces it down low. The shot from the right block was missed by number 22. About eight and a half minutes left in the second half. Number 22, gets it outside. Lead pass, left wing. Shoots. The baseline J is hit by number 42. There's a real confident shooter. The D was draped all over him, and it didn't even face him. The Golden Eagles will take a timeout here. making a few lineup changes. The Golden Eagles can trim the lead to single digits. Number 10 dumps it off. Number one to the rack. Cuts the lead to single digits. Number one, he's been doing his share and then some, Vern. There's no doubt he'd show up for this one.
Number 45. Gets it outside. Number five. Beats it to the right wing. To the stripe. Skips it down low. Number 21. Gets called for the reach. And that is his third foul so far. Number five, inbounds the ball. Picked off. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Number one, spins. Number 10, dishes to the right. The up and under. Good job on the layup by number 51. He was just simply too quick for the defense. Tremendous display of speed on that play. And it's a seven-point game. Number 45 gets it outside. Top of the key. Number 12. Gets it middle. Number 32 hands it off. Number 45 passes to the top of the key. Outside. Swings it to the outside. Number five shoots it. Gets the three-pointer to go. What a gigantic edge it is to have a big guy who can pop outside so effectively. It also forces the man covered him to leave the lane, which creates opportunities for cutters to the hoop. Number that last inside shot buried by number 51. Number 45 inbounds the ball. Deflected. The Badgers will retain possession. Oh, that would have been a fantastic pick. Great effort. The Badgers the will make some substitutions. Tipped away, but it's tracked down by Wisconsin. Number 44. Dishes to the outside. The Badgers will get this one back. Great job to get a hand on that one. That's why it's so important to stay active on defense. Number 45 catches it, left corner. The Badgers were the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. Number 23 is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. An eight-point differential. Passes out left. The reverse. They get it back. Number one dumps it off. No good on the last layup by number 22. The Badgers can push their lead to double digits. Number 32 rips it down with one hand. I lay it in when you can send it in. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Number one, bounces it cross court. Right block. Number 23, throws it down. That deserves a look on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. That's something else. No wonder we're still talking about it. An eight-point differential. Passes to the outside. Number 45. Skips it to the left side. Number 44 backs him down. That last shot off the mark. The one-handed jam by number 32. Marquette calls time. They've got one left.
Number 23 inbounds the ball. Number one raises up. That's his first personal foul. Eight team foul. He can't get the first. That's got to be frustrating. They desperately need to narrow the gap, and instead, they come away empty. Number three gets it, left wing. Swing pass, outside. By yourself, by yourself. Get him, get him. Number 32 shoots. The second chance bucket was canned by number 32. That is such an important part of the game, Vern. Always keep working on the offensive boards. Gets it, middle. Number 21, count the basket, and the foul. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. Substitution on the court. He can't complete the three-point throw. And it's a 10-point game. Number 23, lead pass to the middle. The last shot is jammed in by number five. They're really clicking out there, Vern. They're reacting perfectly to each other. Those kind of assists are going to come easy to them if they keep this up. Outside, beats it to the left side. Number one, to the rim. Almost a three-point opportunity. Instead, he'll go to the line for two. Makes the first. The Golden Eagles will make some substitutions. And he splits the free throws. Number 42 is one rebound short of a double double. Swings it to the outside. Number 42 gets it outside. High post. Number five hands it off. Number 23. Left, left, left. Number one gets called for the reach, and that's his fourth foul of the contest. Number 22 didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Substitution on the court. It's picked off by number 51. That's his second steal of the contest. Number, number one. one goes up. Cuts the lead to single digits. Tipped away. But it's recovered by number 42. I think these fans are getting excited, Fern. They're making some noise now. Releases. And they call goaltending. They'll give him the bucket. Number 41 inbounds the ball. Right around three minutes left in the second half. Gets it outside. Number 22 lobs it to the baseline. Tipped away, but it's recovered by number 51. Outside, number 23 puts up the tray. Connects. Oh, how do you like that pass? Nice awareness. An eight-point differential. Dishes to the outside. Number 42. Bounces it to the top of the key. Number 22. Gets it right wing. Dumps it inside. Backs down. Bumper right in the end by number 32. Number 32. He can move the ball around so easily. Don't see that in too many big fellas. No, that kind of ball control ability just makes him even two more dangerous. Remaining. Releases. The number jumper was 22. buried by number 22. He may not be automatic from that range, but he's darn good when you give him that much room. 150 left in the game. Number 22. It's the layup. Kiss on the inside. Oh. 
gets it outside. Number 22 knocks down the trifecta. Even against an average score, the defense has to be more aware. Absolutely, Vern. And it's a seven-point game. Number five passes to the outside. Right side dishes to the baseline. Number 32 backs down. Takes it in. Number 32 gets the offensive rebound. The last bucket down low was dropped in. Nice job to convert from in close. He didn't mess around right there. Just straight up. Number 22. Number 41 snatches down the offensive board. Got the bucket and the foul. He'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Substitution on the court. Huge play, Vern. That was a terrific play with the game hanging in the balance. 50 seconds left in the game. Dumps it to the middle. Number 23 gets it on the strike. Lead pass, left wing. Hits it. Every basket is another dagger. The game is all but over, Vern. The Golden Eagles carry it up. One second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Sizing up his man. Follows, he went up, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Personal foul. Gets the first, and that brings them within eight. He gets them both. Number 23 just picked up his third foul of the game. Number 23 now has four fouls. That's his fourth personal foul. Six team foul. Number 42 inbounds the ball. The Badgers look like they have this one wrapped up. Number 22 stepped on the line, and they will give the ball up. Number one, jumps it off. Number 22, beyond the arc, gets the bucket. What I like is his ability to see the floor and get it to the guys where they can do something with it. Extremely accurate. Number 23, picked up his final foul, and he'll set the rest of this one out. Substitution on the court. Gets the first, and that puts them up by five. Two for two, and it's a six-point ball game. Number 41 inbounds the ball. Number one releases. Misses the three. Number 41 hits the foul, they're in the bonus, and they'll go to the line for a one-and-one. One. Gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Doesn't get the second. Releases! There's the hole. Wisconsin beats the Golden Eagles, 95 to 88. Now let's enter to the studio and Greg Dumble with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance. Basketball is a game of runs, and this contest showed just how important it is to be on the right side of those. The Wisconsin Badger exploded on a long scoring run, all triggered by this shot. Once this shot went down, they caught fire and made the game look easy. Thanks, Greg. For Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery, I'm Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports.